the Raiders 4-3 defensive book. Mm -hmm. Do you have any tips? And let me dig up his question a little bit. Guys, we've gone over the Browns defensive playbook a couple times, and we've showed you how to uh, use that playbook, but the Raiders is kind of different from that. So, Gibbs, any 4-3 playbook uh, from the Raiders here, especially run defense, but also other Sure. Other so, so, let's start with run defense, and then we'll go to a... Uh, pass defense. So 4-3 under. By default, in general, any cover four is, a, is, is your safe run defensive zone, and we'll show you why. So in Madden 17 this year, we have this new system, and it's called run fits. And if you hold the right stick to the right or to the left, you can see all your defenders, and this, these, these guys are not blitzing. This is literally the, the gap or the area they're supposed to go and fill the snap of the ball if it's a run right. So if it's a run right, this defender right here, no matter where I move him, his assignment is to go right here and eat this lane up. Because that's what football is. Football is about gaps and it's about assignments. And if everybody on the defense, in theory, does their job and fills all the appropriate lanes, you can see this is what it, what, what it would actually look like. So you can see the one weakness of this defense is this outside area right here. There's no defender that is accounting for this far left part of the field. So that's where the offense, in theory, would want to attack because if the defenders right where's your left run fit if you if you check it to the left so that guy has to get all the way over there so now he's in a problem and that's bad because if i then go left he does try and scoot out he got there, over there but if i get the blocks i need we're looking that's not from smith so that was good but so cover four the reason why it's effective is take a look at the deep safeties see how they are in run fits they are attacking the line of scrimmage against the run now if i were to go to uh, a cover two man, right? I'm in cover two man. Look at the safeties. They are no longer in run fit. So what that means is they are now in pass coverage at by default. So at the snap of the ball, they're not aggressively playing the run. They drift away. See how they're drifting away? They gotta wait, think about it. That is extra, it a run? that extra second is a huge, huge thing for your defense. Now take a look. Now we're on the ball this time. At the snap of the ball, you can see those safeties. They don't, they don't drift. They sit, wait, and they attack. So that's why cover four is a defense that you want to use to play the run. Now cover two can also be a very good defense to play the run because you can see your outside corners opposed to your deep safeties play the run. So what we see a lot of people do is this. They play cover two and they bring the corners in. But yes, that's going to leave you open down the sideline. But this is what we're seeing a lot of the better players do is they, they prevent you from getting outside basically. So that's why cover four, really any formation is going to be a very effective run defense. Now, a blitzing tip. Uh, let's go out and call another play from 4-3. Right, and so once again, this is the Raiders. It's a 4-3 defensive playbook. We've given you the Browns. Uh, we've given you lots of good plays, but that was good run defense, and now we're going to get into some blitzes and some passing defense. You want to have a defense that you feel confident in. We're stopping the run on first down, that cover four. Blitzing on third and long, and then kind of like a, an, a regular, like more coverage passing style defense. So, yep. Gibbs, what is that in that Raiders playbook? So, if you take a look, 4 3 under, and this is a blitz I've been seeing a lot of people run. Um, it's if you just go look like a cover two, it's really any play, um, so it doesn't really matter. So, it's any play. We were actually just in the cover, uh, cover four from 4 3 under, uh, but it's actually a really cool blitz. It's really overpowering. Um, so, what you do is you shift your line to the left. And then you sh crash your line to the left, and then it takes some manual movement. You have to take the outside linebacker, manually swing him off the left edge, and that's it. You can tinker with it, but that's the blitz. Snap of the ball. But blitzing's hard. Blitzing takes a lot of setups. It's complicated. That's that. I mean, that's that's as clean. easy as it gets. That's clean. And it takes some. It takes some movement. Like, but you can keep him pretty flush here, and he gets in. You can see because you see how the weak side tackle right plays no man's land. Right. Um, so it's so a, do that one more time in slow, just slow. So 4-3 under. Base align, which is coverage audible. Yep. And on the right stick. Left bumper. And left in the deep had to shift the D line to the left. Left bumper, right stick to the left. That crashes the line to the left. Manually click on to this outside left linebacker on the left side of the screen. Yep. Manually drag him over to the left side of the screen. Yep. You probably want him about a yard to two yards away from the DN, like right where he is here. Yep. And then RB, right stick to the left, that's gonna manually blitz the outside left linebacker. Yeah, don't push A and then right stick down, use RB and then right stick to the left. Right. Uh, and then you wanna use this middle linebacker. Kinda watch the middle, kinda watch that slot. 
if the halfback goes to the left. A couple right. different ways you can do that there, but you get the pressure picked up there. It's good pressure. And you got to throw the ball away. So that is a blitz. And now gives the Raiders playbook specifically has the 4-4. And the 4-4 has been giving me fits, and it's the 4-4 split, the cover two invert. Like, people are running this like an every down defense. Great run defense, but also just as an every down defense. If you were going to run this as an every down defense, like, why can't you just check it? Like, what, what, what's your weakness in this defense? Let's see, cover two invert. Like, people are running this in their cover. I wouldn't, I, 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 you, you play defense, I'll show you. you yeah. Play defense. So, I mean, I don't feel necessarily like safe enough just coming out in this every time, but if you had the right personnel, you could run this cover to invert quite a bit and feel pretty good about it. You see the outside guys are in deep zones, you know? Um, so it, it gets a lot of guys up near the line. You see both defenders on the on the force and contain for the right. run game. You're gonna, you're gonna play with it? You're gonna yeah. use her here? Okay. Yeah. So when you're not ready for posts, yeah. multiple posts, I find that the Denver Broncos book is really good. You're going to Z-spot route on the left here. Uh, so what I find uh, is that you can really attack this part of the field with, with Z-spots. But what you need to do is you need to make them draw away to the RB route, and then that opens up right there. Right. Like you need to get their attention deep, and it's always a vertical streak because here's why. I want you now this time to cheat on uh, the green route. Like you guys want you to cheat on it with your user defender. Okay. So I'm going to motion him out. You think maybe a corner's coming. I put him out there, and you can cheat on the X route, and then bang, you can get inside there. Gotcha. Now, okay. you, it's a combination of things. It's combinations of things, right? So I think it's the threat of having multiple like multiple things going on. So like, take it for example like this, right? So this is why I love Combo Punch so much, and this is why I love the Broncos so much. So come out with 4-4 cover to invade. Okay. Um, so right here. Uh, so this play, you're going to struggle really greatly defending against this play from the cover to invert because right. you don't have a flat zone that can get over there. Right. Um, there's like, well, I mean, there's no like by default. It's no quick, easy way to like take right. it away instantly. Right. So one of the first things. If I see you motion that guy, I got to then take this right. guy, like sling him out here, and then the run run game gets messed up. Right. And so that's like how you would have to do it to right. defend that. So, so it's annoying. You need, there, there's certain things you need to do to attack it to then show its glaring weaknesses. Uh, the first thing is I always think these sideline routes are, are the areas you want to stress it because, by, again, by default, there's no cover two flat out on the outside to take something away. So then you start paying attention to that. Well, you can't defend everything when you start doing that, right? So, right. you know, th that's the instance right here. Now you go over there, you go here. I got the B post now. I go to try and take it away. There's just a lot of things you can do, and I'll, I want right. to show you another way that really attacks it here. Uh, let me go to right here. This play is is so good against it. It's really good against it. You, you need time in the pocket, which is you know, that's the, that's the rub against everything, is it not? So there's a lot of different areas you can attack it. With, with a faster guy there, you can win that matchup, but you're going to see in the middle of the field, the, the vertical does a great job of pulling that defender away. If you get time in the pocket, you can deliver the ball to X as he comes across here. Right. So there's a lot you can do from that. Why do your fork is a good play? I think I think you need to not panic if there's so many defenders like directly in the box. Right. And the other weakness of it is when someone starts, if they want to try and bring pressure from it, opposed to just playing coverage out of it, it then starts pulling even more holes from it. Like it now, starts ca causing more problems. The last thing in the Raiders book is more of like an all out pass coverage. Would you go to, you know, would you do the nickel two, four, five? So this is one quick thing I can do and then I'll have Gibbs, Gibbs gives us, give us his favorite uh, piece. But the two, four, five even, what you want to do is you come out in the match, cover three match. Mm -hmm. And then if they're in a spread set, what you do is you leave it. And then if they're in a bunch set, what you do is you audible to Mabel. So the match is going to, the seam flats are gonna run with A and Y. They're gonna turn into man coverage potentially, and you should feel pretty good about uh, your defense against a balanced set. Now, if they go to a gun bunch style set, yep. you'll see that I have the Mabel, so I just press X, go down to cover three Mabel. 
and whatever side the bunch is on or whatever side like uh, more of like a, a trio or a trips formation is the defense will flip automatically um, and then it will can, if they're not as long as yeah. you don't they don't audible yeah. yeah so you'll then have Mabel what you can do is either use her this guy and go to the corner if there is a corner but if there's not a corner you can just stay across the only thing you'd have to look out for is like routes coming across the middle but you're going to shut down everything to the right from the bunch. You can use this hook zone, or you could uh, drop this guy maybe on here if you think it's going to be uh, a Z spot route on the other side. But I don't like that as a man. I like no, the you like the side. further guy. Yeah, further man guy. him up. Gotcha. Man, that, I mean, that's what I'm seeing everybody do. Yeah. So this Mabel, so you switch between the match and the Mabel, and that's probably the best pass defense against like casual people, people just not running anything specific, just kind of getting out there. Right. Um, any other like all, like, do you have any other just pass yeah. defenses we're going to drop people that you like from yeah, the Raiders? Yeah, I, I think, I think a, a great defense, and I want to see more people do it. Go to Big Dime 236. Big Dime 236, I love it because the cover to Audible has a soft, a soft squat. Uh, so come out in, come out in, uh, fuck slant, you'll see it. Ah. Or strong slant, don't care, whatever, however you get to it. So it's one more. this one, one right, more. right there, here, the Buck Slant three. For sure, call it whatever. Yeah. So, what's what's the name of the game this year? Right, cover co corner strike. Corner strike, great play. Corner Let's strike go. is somewhat basically this like I would call it the closest thing you can find to America's offense, right, at the highest levels, uh, because it's a very simple way to run effectively against any defense you face. So what I've noticed is like you can actually defend it playing like Mabel. So auto, quick audible left. Quick out of the left. Okay. And so you can defend it Mabel wise. So it would look like this. Place um, the, the hook curl on the right into a, a flat. Place the, actually place the outside blitzing linebacker into a flat. Yeah, Irvin, place him into a flat. And then put the deep safety there into a buzz. You don't want him in a seam flat, you want him a buzz. So now you, you use her with McGill. You subtle change between seam flat and curl yeah. flat. You need you the curl You use her McGill on a hook right. over the middle. So you can defend it like this, but then what ends up happening is you're so weak over the middle and your pass rush is so weak that hey, you just end up getting dotted. Like, later, yeah. You, like, later. there's other ways that you just get stop, you, know. you just get dotted. You really do. Over the course yeah. of the game, like, I think cover three style Mabel on both sides, you can catch somebody and they can make a mistake. But uh, my better alternative I'd like to see as an all-out coverage, we're going to shout out to all my guys in the chat that remember this play. Type 1 if you remember, cover 2 Hawk. Here's what I want you to do, audible to cover 2. Okay. Just, you always got to make sure that it has hard flats. Got to have hard flats. So give me hard flats. So Y down on the right stick. The soft squats on the outside, mm -hmm. they change to hard flats. So that means that they will play the flat. They will jump down. No matter what. Flat. So now I want you to place the outside hooks. I want you to place them in buzz zones. Okay, outside hooks in buzz zones. Yep. These guys? Outside, outside, outside hooks. Hook. Gotcha. Now I want you to crash your line uh, down. Okay. Or you crashed out. It doesn't really matter. Now I want you to drop all linebackers in the hooks. RB right stick up. Mm -hmm. Now I want you to blitz the middle linebacker. And you, you use him. So now you got three guys blitzing, but you're using uh -huh. him. And now look, we're going to have three hooks over the middle. we got... Two buzzes. So this defends corner strike to the umpteenth degree. It will also give you three defenders over the short middle. Now, you said you wanted all. Now you said you wanted all coverage. Yeah. I'm giving you all out coverage. Am I gonna man up, man up? No, 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 no. Okay. You're still rushing two guys. You're saying you're not gonna get much. Pressure. This is, you're not. You're, yeah. you're not gonna generate much. Cool, Mac. You never know. You're, right. You're not gonna generate a lot of pressure with this, oh but. God, God. The idea, guys, is that you can defend corner strike with this. So look, I motion here, I can't throw that. I go to the right, I can't. where am I going? You're locked, corner strike is locked. That setup, any cover two in the game, cover two will, or corner strike will be locked. That is the foundation, I think, in my opinion, that is so far what I've seen probably is the best all out zone coverage defense you can operate with. Yes. Hard flats, two buzzes, Drop the linebackers, crash them out, and use their blitzing middle linebacker. I like it. It's not bad. Good it's defense. It's not bad. Good defense. All right, so that is some option from Raiders. That gives you run defense. That gives you pass defense. That gives you a blitz. Uh, it's a great playbook. If you prefer the 3-4, you can check the Browns. Um, but those are really good ways to play defense if you like a 4-3 in Madden 17. Hopefully that helps you guys. Make sure to give it a follow if you like that right there. Gibbs flying it in. Um, 
Not that hard of a setup, Muni. Really not that bad of a setup. Let me see it real quick. Hold on. Let me see. Let me just test it. So cover two. You're in cover two. You are going to cover audible down, right? Then from here, you're going to go Y, Y, L, B, buzz. Y, Y, R, B, buzz. Linebackers, R, B, up. Yeah, it's pretty. Crash out. Like, it's you don't even have to click on anybody. You have to memorize your buttons, which they're... We're not saying it's hard. We're not saying it's easy. This, as in terms of, you, you want flashcards? You want to be great? You got no, flashcards? Right. So what I'm saying, in terms of, uh, like a, a complicated setup, like dude, there's been setups over the years that was like, okay, grab this guy. You need to get him seven yards out here. You need to take this guy, swing him over over here from one five five, get him over there. Like this is for all intents and purposes. This is a pretty, like. It's not that labor intensive. You stay in one guy. Let me show you again. You stay in one guy. This is why the two three six is good because you're, you're this corner, and then this guy are both corners, cornerbacks. Right. One's a safety, so that you get the Y Y command for both of them. So when you come out of the play, my actual suggestion for it would be this: you come out, you come out, cover two. I'd first go hard flat. I would then linebacker up my guys because then I have just a lot of coverage even if right. I don't get my other guys in. Yeah. And then I would crash out. And then the last thing I would worry about is the bu the buzzes, uh, because because the buzzes are will be nice to have, but out or like, just one side. Correct, one side. But that's the that's the setup. Like, let me see how quick I can get it in. So get ready to time me. So I'm okay, gonna go. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, Done. five. So five. Five seconds. And then so for the rest of America, the people that don't have you know golden fingers. People with dirt under the fingernails takes them a little longer to do setups. You can, but, do, you can do it in seven, eight seconds. But also remember, you, you always I, you might click on and do the curl flats that you way. You get seven. You get seven seconds on every play to get adjustments in before your opponent can snap the ball. Yeah. So that was that's five seconds. Not saying that everybody will be able to do it that quick. Uh, and there's gonna be people that can do it quicker. Like I, I already know that. Like I, I saw some of the adjustments guys were making. Like young Kiv, like guy, guy's got young He's in his. He's got name. young fingers. He's yeah. got young phalanges, right? But um. Try it. Don't look at it. What I ask, what I ask everybody in the chat, if you want to be a better player, I know it seems complicated. There's a lot of things going on there. We can put the setup in the chat for this cover two hawk. We're gonna call it the cover two hawk, by the way. I like that. We're gonna call it the hawk. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and so then from there, uh, we'll put the setup in the chat for you guys. But what I would ask is try it and see if you get the results. Because you know what makes you want to do these things. What makes you want to do this? When, when you, you get a pick, when you get a stop, or when some, when think of the frustration you face when someone just runs corner strike on you all game. You're like, gosh, dang, I can't. I go to cover two man and he beats me. Then I go to cover two and he beats me. Well, unfortunately, this play doesn't completely exist organically in the game, but you can make it, and it's going to give you success. So if you have success with it, I ask that you try it. Just try it. If you can't get it done, then at least you tried it, and then we'll you know go from there. And then maybe you only do one side. Like you said. Yes. Yes, indeed. All right. That is a an adjustments rant from S. Gibbs. He's good for one every couple weeks, but you really should be. Like, you should flashcards. We list a lot of the I'm setups. Put, I'm putting on setups now. Twitch.tv slash Madden Tips. Underneath, there's a blitz setup. There's QB sneak defensive setup. There's cover two hawk setups. Ah. So you should check us out on Twitch. Not to mention, uh, Dibs is flying in blitzes in the Twitch chat during this. So, like... You really should be here to chat if you're watching on YouTube. Uh, make sure you head on over and hit the follow button while you're here. All right, we are going to jump into the next question in the mailbag.